Hi, my name is Dr. Rosbrook, and I'm the director of the Limb Salvage and Amputation Reconstruction Center at Hospital for Special Surgery. I'm going to spend a few minutes with you today um, showing you a case of osseointegration amputation reconstruction surgery, and we'll focus on a particular patient, Randy, to help illustrate uh, the details of this surgery and the uh, immense advantages. Amputation reconstruction using osseointegration is an exciting new technology where bone, where the uh, prosthesis is actually anchored into the bone. And um, that changes the whole way that amputation uh, reconstruction is done. Um, there's a direct skeletal connection between the prosthetic leg and the patient's bone. Well, it turns out that bone anchored prosthesis had better outcomes and function than sockets in many studies. And uh, despite the concern about infection, turns out that severe infections and implant loosening is actually quite rare. The advantages of osseointegration come down to that there are no socket issues. Uh, it allows you to get rid of the socket. Socket, as uh, people who have sockets know, uh, often lead to problems including pressure sores, poor fit, and pinching. And this is particularly true when the residual limb uh, doesn't fit well into the, into the socket. Uh, with osseointegration, there's improved control of the prosthetic leg with improved energy transfer via the direct skeletal connection. Patients report that there's improved proprioception, and this is all especially helpful with short and wide residual leg. Here's an example of Randy and the direct skeletal connection of the prosthetic leg. The blue arrow shows the implant um, in the femur. You've got a front view and a side view, and then you um, have an actual picture of the uh, implant as well. Um, the bone grows into the implant, hence the name osseointegration. The dual cone is illustrated by the red arrow on the front view, the side view, and the actual photograph of the implant. Uh, and that is the connection between the uh, implant and the bone and the outside world that allows the prosthetic leg to get connected via an adapter. And in this particular picture, there's just a, a gauze wrap around the uh, dual cone, which we usually use for the first few weeks. Uh, after surgery to, uh, to uh, collect any minor drainage, but eventually that uh, gets eliminated. This is a picture of uh, Randy on the day that he got his uh, leg connected, and we typically will um, use a loading protocol where we gradually increase the amount of weight and the duration of, uh, of loading. We have a great team at Hospital for Special Surgery that are um, handling osseointegration, amputation reconstruction, including dedicated physical therapists and prosthetic and orth orthotists. One of the main advantages of osseointegration is the improved energy transfer between the bone and the prosthetic leg. And that's illustrated in Randy doing some of these um, exercises these were pictures taken just two weeks after the leg was connected. We've been collaborating with uh, Dr. Almaderis from Osseo International in Sydney, Australia. And in fact, the implant that you see is, is an example of the Osseo International implant. The process for making this implant is um, very precise. It starts with an x-ray. It's followed by a CT scan where uh, the custom-made implant is sized to the patient's bone. And uh, from that, uh, a very specific custom-made implant is uh, created that fits directly into the patient bone. I want to thank you for your attention. I hope that this has been informative, and I've been uh, pleased to share this exciting new technology of osseointegration amputation reconstruction surgery.